So when you're at 100 retail stores or whatever the scale is, uh, you do things a little differently. We would get a truck and load some guys in it with some toolboxes and say, go set up a retail store, go run the wires through the, through the ceiling and get your hands dirty. When you've got a thousand stores, you can't really afford to do that. So it's about learning to scale your processes and your relationships alongside with the scale of the business. And uh, SageNet was brought to us by uh, one of those carriers that we had done business with. And they said, we can't do it well, these guys can. And uh, I thought that was really interesting that somebody who in some spaces might've seen as a competitor to SageNet, um, in fact, brought them to the table for us. So for me, it comes back to investment. It comes back to the constant interest in making sure that, uh, that the client is, is successful in their own business. Another example I'll give is we got to sit down with uh, the leadership of SageNet. We sat down with Brad Lies and Craig Talbot and Marilyn Golson and some other folks. And, and they were asking us, how is your business going? Tell us what you're experiencing in the marketplace. What are the challenges you're facing? And they may or may not even been relevant to our partnership specifically, other than they were interested in ensuring that if there was an opportunity that SageNet could benefit the client, that, that they found it. And uh, it was it was organic, it was natural, and, and I felt like um, we have their trust and, and vice versa. A realistic approach that speaks volumes to the honesty and, to, and integrity you get with SageNet is this concept of, um, we will do what we know well, and we're not gonna try to force something down your throat that we know we won't do well. In other words, I'll tell the client, you're not gonna have any BS from SageNet. They're going to be uh, forthright and they're gonna do what they do well.